the time has come for new immigration rules which say that those seeking admission into our country must be able to support themselves financially and should not use welfare for a period of at least five years. Well, that was the president, Mr. Trump, in Iowa last night. No welfare for immigrants for five years after they come here. You can't have any welfare unless you've been here for five years. Congressman Louis Gohmert, Republican from Texas, member of the Freedom Caucus, is with us now. You're in a border state. Now, the president just slipped that one in last night. No welfare unless you've been here for five years. What do you think? I think it's fantastic. And actually, uh, Steve King and I were visiting, went over to talk to the British folks on their benefits. And their equivalent of Social Security had that in law for a number of years. You could not be in England and draw Social Security mm -hmm. unless you had been paying into it. Not just been there, but paying mm -hmm. into it for five years. So I, that's one of the great things about the president. He's been in business. He hears good ideas. He knows them when he hears them. And boy, did he jump on that. I think it's fantastic. It, it's something we should have done years ago, Stuart. Okay. Now, we we're expecting the details on the Senate health care plan later on today. My question, Louis, is <laughs> will, you, I, I, know, I can hear you laughing because yeah, you know what's okay. coming. Yeah. Will conservatives compromise and pass it? Or are you going to stand on principle? Look, here's what I say, and yeah. I, you know what I'm going to say. Stuart, we already showed what we would do. We compromised to get to the bill we did before. It wasn't a fantastic bill, but it was a compromise bill that we could get passed. And well, will we your Senate that. colleagues do the same? Uh, I have a feeling that when the president gets involved, he's going to be able to help some of the senators get to that conclusion as well. Mm -hmm. So, and and we've got some good people negotiating that. So. Uh, they didn't lock out uh, conservatives that would have different views. They brought them in. I think it's a great approach. So I'm looking forward to finding out what they have. But of course, you know, make no mistake, it's still the sausage-making process. But yeah. I think it's a good idea. I, I th I'm looking forward to seeing what they got. But I would still say, and I hope you would say too, that it's better to get something done than nothing no. at all, because oh, if listen, he gets Stuart, nothing done at all, we're left yeah, holding the bag. That's, that's not uh, an option. There are too many people all over my district and the country that cannot afford the premiums they're paying in order to get nothing, get five, six, ten thousand dollar $10,000 deductible, which means they'll never get a dime out of it because they don't have the deductible. So uh, I, I think uh, we've got to get some. People are crying out for help. And Obamacare, it, it wasn't just rhetoric. It has done so much damage. As you know, you've talked about it. It's done so much damage to the economy, to people's jobs, to people's health and their health care. Yeah, there's some folks getting subsidies that are happy with that. But most people got hurt badly in this adjustment to Obamacare. And uh, can I throw in one more thing? I think another thing that would help, and I've given a lot of thought, the president needs to appoint a special counsel to investigate the unsavory, potentially illegal issues involving Comey and Mueller okay. and Loretta Lynch. He needs to appoint a special counsel to go after them. Okay. And then I think it's going to give him a lot more freedom to get this economy rolling like it needs that's, to. At, They're trying to at hamstring this point, a guy. I, I got it, Congressman. But at this point, that's a sidebar issue. Right now, yeah. it's, it's get it done. It's his ability to get some things done. Okay. They're keeping him strapped. Well, get the investigators investigated. That's what, that's part of the deep swamp. In fact, that part's really turned into sewage. That's it's okay, okay, okay. Sewage there. Okay. It's, it's a problem. You know, Congressman, you were doing just fine. Uh, <laughs> so, Congressman Louis Gomez striking a hopeful note there. And that's how I'm going to end it. I am it. hopeful. That's I all am good. hopeful. You betcha. If you're not careful, you'll move the stock market. Louis Gomez, everyone. Thanks very much for joining us, sir. Appreciate Thanks. it.